Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today with another Best Buy powered review, and this time I'm taking a look at the Intellino Smart Train, which is a fun and educational STEM learning toy in the form of a model train set. And it's kind of like a commuter train, like an elevated train or a subway, that sort of thing. And basically what it does is it helps kids ages three and up to learn the most basic principles of coding and programming. And it does this with the help of its own special app called the Intellino app, which runs on your smartphone and allows you to control the various features of the train. Now included in the set are the two train cars, one slightly larger than the other, and a number of variously shaped track pieces that allow you to build more than 10 different track configurations. Notably, there are no electronics built into the track itself, so this train is compatible with similarly shaped wooden track sets, the kind that might come with non-electronic train sets for very small children. Now as for the cars, the larger of the two houses all of the train's electronics, and that does include lights and it also pushes and pulls the other lighter car when the two are coupled together which is done very simply via magnets. Now the main car has to be charged up for roughly an hour which is done with an included USB cord and a fully charged battery should get you somewhere north of 100 minutes of playtime, which I think is very very reasonable. By the way, this thing can travel at a top speed of up to 100 centimeters per second, which is over three feet a second. And when you really think about that, for something so small as what this is, it really is quite impressive. Anyway, also included with the Intellino Smart Train is a whole mess of colorful little tiles called action snaps that can be stuck to the track in various places in order to control where the train moves and what it does. And there are actually 17 different default commands already built into the train when you receive it, but the app itself does allow you to program in even more. Of course, the Intellino app is compatible with both Android and iOS based smartphones, and it actually has two different sections to it in one of them which is called snap editor that's where you can go in and program your different command codes and things for the train to do which you will then upload to the train to actually make it perform the tasks and in the other mode which is basically your main control mode that one's just called drive you can actually make the train do all kinds of really cool things just by pressing the different icons on the screen so for example you can make it drive at different speeds uh, there's actually a little slider on the screen for that to make it go faster or slower that's pretty cool and you can also reverse directions or stop the train, start the train back up again, change the color of the train's lights, all that kind of stuff. And you can even play a variety of really cool sound effects. And there are even some different themes within the app that affect the kinds of sounds that you'll be able to hear. So for example, there's one called City Express and another one called Police, which has like police sirens and that sort of thing. And there's one that's uh, coming soon called Racer, which uh, I guess it remains to be seen what that one's gonna be able to do. But anyway, kids have the choice of using the train in either its self-driving autopilot mode or taking complete control of the train themselves with manual drive. And one thing that's kind of neat about this train is that you don't even actually have to have the app up and running to use it. If you just turn it on, place it on the track and give it a little push, it will go and go and go and just keep on going all by itself. So that's really cool too. Now, my only real complaint about the Intellino Smart Train, and this isn't an overly major one by any means, uh, but it is that the smaller car will tend to derail from time to time, particularly at higher speeds or on corners, and that probably just is mostly owing to its really light weight, and it didn't really happen so often as to be all that much of an annoyance to me. So for the most part, I really enjoyed this train, and I do believe that kids and likely even model train collectors are bound to enjoy it as well. So that's all I'm going to say about the Intellino Smart Train for now. I hope that you enjoyed this video, or at least found it useful and if you did I would really appreciate a like a comment or a share and also feel free to ask any questions that you might have for now I just like to thank you all for watching stay tuned for future tech toy videos and I will see you in the next one have an excellent day